helping the handicapped. The word hearth is a, an Indian word that means the hand and the spelling of the hearth is written up there. That's the spelling of the hearth. The hearth is an Indian word that means the palm and the fingers. So all this project is all about helping the handicapped. This is a, for the case of handicap, we have a group of handicapped, those who have lost the wrist. So basically this project is to help those who have lost the wrist. So now my colleague before you is going to demonstrate to you what this machine really is. Yes, uh, welcome to this project. I am Agonza Arnold from Ginger College and this is my colleague Hamdun Anjum, also from Ginger College. Now like he has mentioned, this is a prototype of a robot hand that will enable those people who are handicapped, especially those who don't have the wrist to carry out different activities. Now in designing this prototype, we had to look for the cheapest way to design it and the best way also. Now we looked at things like uh, we used plastic, as you can see around here we use plastic because plastic uh, is a poor conductor of heat so the person using it will not be affected if he's holding something that is hot. We also used a rubber around the gripping part so that we can increase friction and also the gripping. Um, and also we used the power source that dry cells. These are dry cells, they supply power to the, to the prototype that we have designed. Now we designed a switch. We had to design a switch in a way that this person to use it, he will not have to use this other hand again to connect it. Because if this person is using this other hand to connect it, it's the same as him using that very hand to pick whatever he wants to pick. So we designed this type of switch whereby this person will have to put it just below his armpits, as we shall be demonstrating here. So this person attaches it around here, which is tied very well, tightly, so that it does not fall off. Now you can use safety pins to attach it. So now this person will have to fix this part without the wrist in here. We design this part, and as you can see, if you can reach inside, there is a protection in there that you don't reach this area where there are the mechanisms. So the person fixes his yes, fixes his hand in there. Yes, very well. Now you position you position your hand to whatever you want to hold. Let's say he wants to hold that cup, you position it very well, and then you connect the switch. And when you connect, you can hold, transfer it, take it wherever you want, you can lift it, even drink if you want with it. Yes. Now that is the basic mechanism behind it. Now the question behind the question for this basic prototype that we have designed is that it is designed to carry out light activities like holding a cup or a glass or a bottle. Um, for it, it, for a moment, it does not hold heavy things. But um, for improvement, you can use better means like um, carbon reinforced plastic, which can hold heavier things. Um, then you can narrate more of it. And then, on addition to my colleague, this thing has been designed basically for light equipment because we have used plastic and metallic hinges. So it's used for carrying out light activities like holding a cup, transferring a saucepan from one place to another. And then to improve on the durability, we can make out this design use of steel and carbon reinforced plastic which don't get burned, which cannot get burnt when you're holding a hot saucepan. And then, instead of using plastics, as I've said, you can use steel that can improve on its durability to hold heavier things like a brick or some big stone or whatever fruit you like, like we have jackfruits, you can use it for holding such heavy equipment. So it's like, basically all this thing here, it has been made from very cheap materials that have been obtained from the environment. We have used hinges here, it's just one hinge only. We obtained it from a broken cardboard we got this jerry can, it's a plastic, as you can see. Plastic, we obtained it from wasted paint jerry cans. We used rubber here. This is for improving on the gripping when holding some light material. Basically, this is a biscot, biscot tube that so that it can improve on the gripping. We applied it on both sides to ensure better gripping. So now, my colleague is going to 
show you the procedure of how it was all made. And then one more thing is that the mode of operation behind this is the use of motors. As you can see how the motors have been placed. We have been placed and then we, there is use of two motors we, whereby it can increase on the strength of grip. So my colleague is going to show you the procedure of how to make such a simple machine. Um, now if you're there at home and you'd wish to make one for your loved one, uh, this is a simple procedure. You obtain a plastic sheet which is just flat and then you shape it just as we have shown here. These are demarcations of where you're going to cut from. So after cutting, you'll have something like this. Uh, then you fold it according to the direction of these arrows. Fold it down like this. And in the end, when you attach it, when you attach these folded parts, you'll end up with something like this. Now these are also demarcations of where you're going to place the motors. Now after cutting out that part, you'll have something like this, which will appear like this. This is a part where somebody will fix his hand if he has no wrist. Now, you obtain another plastic sheet which you cut out into finger-like shapes in order to bring out that form of a human hand. These are finger-like shapes after cutting it. This is before we cut it. Now you attach it to this other part that you have already cut out. Just as we've shown here, this is the hinge that is um, connected, that is connecting the two. And these are, say, these are demarcations showing the rubber that we attached on the gripping part to increase the, dura the gripping of, the, of this robot prototype. Now this is an outlay of it finished with the motors attached, as you can see here. Uh, this is a string from the motors running up to the grip pad. Now when the circuit is connected and is complete, this motor will roll and it will pull this grip pad and it will close. Now behind it there is, uh, there is an attachment of a, of a rubber that is of a certain tension, as we have seen on this prototype down here. Now this, this tension is a, a measured exactly up to that, that it has just enough tension in it to pull back the grip pad open when you, when you disconnect the circuit. And uh, for uh, suggestions for improvement, uh, we, we looked at this mechanism, which is used in a grasshopper, the hind leg of a grasshopper. It uses this mechanism if it is to be improved we can design it in such a way that this is just a demonstration of just one finger, just like how a human hand works. Just so you can improve it and you can, ha you can have as many fingers as you want. Somebody can even just hold something tightly to improve on it. And also we can use a better uh, source of power. There are portable batteries. You can just small like this, but contains the same voltage as all this so that somebody can easily attach it on it and even made out of it. cardboard just this is just a simple demonstration to show how can we improve on the finger structure to improve on the gripping so we made it out of cardboards just like we can take an example of this being a cardboard and then we had to cut it into pieces whereby it has junctions of v-shaped just like it is shown here on this this part this is v-shaped so that it can cause an effect of closure so we attached a string inside it here so that when the motor pulls this string here, it will close in a finger-like structure, as you can see, whereby it can improve on the gripping. So this is a improvement for the finger-like structures which we have designed here in the machine. And uh, according to my colleague, use of portable batteries, we have portable batteries, as you know, all over the world. We have camera batteries made out of those Duracell batteries. They are very available in the market and they are easy to obtain them. So um, also for more improvement, uh, this switch may, may appear tiresome for somebody to keep on pressing all the time. But for improvement, we can use a type of switch where you just tap and you let go and you keep on holding. And when you tap, you just, when you want to let go, you just tap again and it opens so that you don't have to continue holding. That is if it's improved and worked on. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, welcome. Uh, we thank you for being with us and going through this project uh, to help the handcuffed. Uh, we hope uh, we shall continue with it and develop it. Thank you very much.